Today, I'm going to show you how you can set up Notion to connect with other apps through Zapier. So first we want to open up the Zapier dashboard, and then we want to go to the top left where we see create Zap. And now for our trigger, let's go ahead and type in Notion and select Notion right here. For the events, we want to choose new database item and then click on where it says continue. And then the next step is we need to connect our Notion account. So let's go ahead and click on where it says sign in. And then it's going to prompt you asking if you want to grant Zapier access to your Notion account. Let's go ahead and click on where it says select pages. And then I'm going to select on this YouTube tutorial page that I created specifically for this Zapier. So let's go ahead and click on a where it says allow access. Now here we want to select a database. So I'm going to select the YouTube tutorial database that I just created and click on where it says continue. And now we need to test the trigger. So let's go ahead and click on where it says test trigger. And here we can see we found a database item. Let's go ahead and click on where it says continue. And now we can hook our Notion database up with any app that we choose. So for this example, I'm going to choose Google Sheets. And then in the event section, I'm going to click on where it says create spreadsheet row. Then I'm going to click on where it says continue. And then we need to sign in to connect our Google Sheets account. And now we need to select our drive. So I'm going to select my Google Drive right here. For spreadsheet, I'm going to select YouTube tutorial. For worksheet, I am going to select sheet one. And then for database items, I'm going to select the name and then click on where it says continue. So in our database, I'm going to add a test name. So let's just say testing name like so. And then let's go back to our Zapier and click on where it says test and continue. We can see that a spreadsheet row was sent to Google Sheets. So let's go ahead and check that out. And now we can see our Notion database item from Notion into our Google Sheets. And if we want to go ahead and publish this Zap, let's go ahead and click on where it says publish Zap and click on publish and turn on. And now if we go back to our dashboard, we can see that we have our Zap right here that we just created and it is currently enabled. If you want to learn how to integrate Zapier with Wix, I have a video that you can watch on the screen right now.